welcome to our video on the differences between soldering irons and soldering guns. Soldering is a critical technique used in electronic repairs, DIY projects and manufacturing processes. The soldering tool you choose can significantly affect the outcome of your project and it's essential to understand the differences between soldering irons and guns. In this video, we'll compare and contrast these two types of tools and help you decide which one is best for your need. The design of a soldering iron and a soldering gun is quite different. A soldering iron typically has a long, thin wand with a pointed tip that is heated by an internal heating element. The wand is connected to a power cord and plug. On the other hand, a soldering gun has a pistol-like shape and a trigger to control the flow of electricity to the heating element, which is located in the tip of the gun. The shape of the soldering gun makes it easier to hold and control, especially when working on larger, more complex projects. One of the main differences between soldering irons and soldering guns is the heating time. Soldering irons typically have a slower heating time, often taking several minutes to reach the desired temperature. This can be inconvenient if you need to start soldering quickly. On the other hand, soldering guns heat up much more quickly, sometimes in as little as a few seconds. This can be advantageous if you need to solder multiple joints quickly or if you have a limited amount of time to complete your project. However, it's important to note that soldering guns may not reach as high of temperatures as soldering irons. When it comes to precision, soldering irons are typically better than soldering guns. Soldering irons feature a pointed tip that allows for precise control over where the solder is applied, making them ideal for delicate electronic work. In contrast, soldering guns have a larger, more unwidely tip that can make precision work more challenging. Additionally, soldering irons can be equipped with a range of tips that offer different shapes and sizes, further enhancing their precision capabilities. Overall, if precision is a critical factor for your soldering work, a soldering iron is likely the better choice. Versatility is another important consideration. Soldering irons tend to be the better option as they offer a wider range of applications. Soldering guns are generally designed for heavy-duty electrical work and while they can be used for other soldering projects, they are not as versatile as soldering irons. Soldering irons comes in various shapes and sizes and can be used for a range of projects such as electronics, jewelry making, plumbing and more. Additionally, soldering irons can be equipped with different tips for specific applications, further increasing their versatility. Finally, let's talk about the price. Soldering guns are generally more expensive than soldering irons. This is due to the fact that soldering guns have more complex designs with features such as built-in motors and triggers that make them more convenient to use. Additionally, soldering guns tend to be more durable and long-lasting than soldering irons, which can make them a better investment over time. However, if you only need a soldering tool for occasional use or for smaller projects, a soldering iron may be more cost-effective. We hope this video has helped you understand the differences between soldering irons and soldering guns. Both tools have their advantages and disadvantages and choosing the right one depends on your specific needs and the type of project you are working on. Remember to always follow proper safety precautions when you're working with hot soldering tools. And if you are unsure which tool is best for your project, don't hesitate to seek professional advice. Thanks for watching.